if somebody says we gonna make a whole race of people date the same sex, what's gonna happen to that race? They can't reproduce. But they pushing that on your people. My brothers right here, they pushing that on our people. What's happening in the Disney Channel cartoons? They putting same sex characters in there. What about the children? Did they send a letter out to the parents and ask the parents for they did that? No. Because the mindset, the plan is to destroy these people on the sign. That's the plan. So while we talking about all these good things we can do, we got to do this. Read it again. And be not conformed to this world. This world wants you to represent this flag. This world wants you to make drill songs talking about you sliding on a brother that look like you. This world wants you to treat your women like prostitutes. Crack them, lay with them, leave them, kick them to the curb. That's what the world wants you to do. You know what's funny? They make all these movies about a ghetto family, a baby mama, baby daddy, but the white man don't teach that to his kids. The Chinese man don't teach that to his kids. They be damned if they doing to be a baby mama. Why is our standards so low, David? Read it again. And be not conformed to this world. Because we trying to follow the ways of this world. God said, be not conformed to the ways of this world. Bring it out. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's why the brother I was talking to, David, I said, this got to change. If we open up a daycare business and your mind ain't right towards kids, how's our business going to be successful? You get what I'm saying? If we make a clothing line business, and your mind is only on how many women you can sleep with, you ain't gonna take care of the store we just opened up. Cause you gonna be outside, hey check it out, hey check it out. I'ma come to you like, I'm using this as an example, you follow me? I'ma come to you like, David, did you clean the store? Did you make sure we got shirts? Uh, no, nah, bro. I'm, I'm trying to focus on this out here. The, bi the business gonna crash. Why? Read it again. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind must change. These young men out here, the reason why they wild, they running up with 30s, they shooting in front of babies, children, hitting little kids, is because their minds is not right. Once that change, they can be whatever they trying to be. They can excel, but their mind got to change. Read on that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We must prove what that good and acceptable will of God is. What's the will of God? Give me that. We gotta start doing God's will. Too long we've been doing the will of this world. The will of this world is I can be free. I can try whatever I want to. Now, I'm gonna name some things, David. We tried Islam. Did Islam work for us? No. In fact, Islam is the religion of another race of people. So why are we following that? That's my question. I'm talking to David, we having a conversation, but that's my question to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out here. You I see down the street, where the college scholars at? Why do blacks follow Islam and that has nothing to do with them? That's my question. Why do we follow Christianity and that has nothing to do with us? Why are we following horoscopes and zodiac signs? Bring That's out. witchcraft. I'm naming little things, David, that we don't think about. Why do, we, why do we celebrate Christmas when we know the origins of Christmas is witchcraft and idolatry? You see what I'm saying? When we little, we get slapped in the back of the head. Shut up. But we grow now. We grow men and women. Let's ask questions. Why was we celebrating July 4th, 1776, America's independence, when 1775, they was bringing us over here on slave ships? I'm asking questions to my people. Bring it why, why are we so colorful and we just follow everything everybody tell us? Because our minds are not renewed. We need the will of God in us. What's the will of God? Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. His what? Thy law is within my heart. His what? Thy law is within my heart. And since it was
was so much shit chatter about me talking about this flag, what does the rainbow represent? And don't tell me the rainbow represent what you think and what you feel. What is the literal origin of the rainbow? Bring it out. I'm waiting. Because we, we in half park. This is where the, the smart, intelligent blacks is. The college bound. The preps, the college preps. What does the rainbow represent? Does the rainbow really represent same-sex relations? Genesis 9, 13. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 9 and verse 13. It's time for us to stop just going with whatever is told to us. You feel the same way, David? That's how I end up on this side of the science right here. Because I had questions. Why are we doing this? What you mean, make Easter baskets for the kids? When I look up a bunny rabbit, it don't lay eggs. Bring it out. What do a bunny rabbit got to do with Jesus Christ? These are questions that I had. And when I couldn't get no answers, I automatically knew they was all lies. That's I can't right. find that in the Bible. We worshiping God. God said, don't eat pork. Why you eating pork in the church? These is questions that I'm asking David. This is what I was asking in my mind. This is what I was asking family, friends. My grandma had this on the wall. This image of this white man. That's a real white man that lived. His name is Cesare Borgia. That's how they say his name over there in Italy. That's a real man that Leonardo da Vinci painted and made him the new image of Christ. No. Did you hear what I said? Made him the new image of Christ. They have that hanging in churches, but the Bible say he black. Tell me what sense that make. None at all. We got to start asking questions. Don't just be following what people tell you. Read. Genesis 9 and verse 13. We finna see what the rainbow mean. Read. I do set my bow in the cloud. So God said he set his bow in the cloud. His rainbow. Read. And it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. So a covenant, David, is a contract, an agreement, a promise. When you see my rainbow in the sky, that's my promise to what? Verse 11. Yep. Verse 11. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore. You know, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, soldier. When it said, neither shall any more flesh be cut off. He said, when you see my rainbow in the sky, that's my promise. I'm not going to kill the whole earth again. We don't even know what God would be talking about. God killed everybody on the earth at one point and left eight people alive. Do that sound like somebody you want to play with? No. So when he tell you do something that come out of here, you better do it. But when you see the rainbow, that's supposed to remind you of how God get out. You know how brothers be knowing it's a brother in the neighborhood? They be like, oh, that's big so-and-so, he don't play. You supposed to look at God like that. When you read Genesis and read about all that killing God was doing, you supposed to be like, man, let me follow this Bible. God don't play. But back to the rainbow. Because I heard chit chatter. This is what the rainbow means. Read. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by the waters of a flood. By the waters of a flood. You ever notice it'll rain, it'll be flash flood warnings, but the whole city don't get flooded, do it? God can't go against his own word. So when we see rainbows, we supposed to be like, hallelujah. We supposed to be like, thank you, Lord. Because that remind him not to flood the whole earth again and kill everybody. He see the rainbow, he's like, oh damn, I can't do that. I can't do that no more. I told them I wasn't going to do that. That's my promise that I leave in the sky. Bring it out. So this flag, this flag is disrespectful. Stay with me, David. This flag is disrespectful. The rainbow does not mean same-sex relations. That's God's promise that he will not flood the earth again. You see that? We got to stop following the ways of the world. Give me some rock 16 in verse, I think it's five. Pride. Because they say, oh, pride month. Pride month. You know something that's disrespectful? You ever heard them say, how you doing, sir? You ever heard them say, gay is the new black? You ever heard them say that before? 
teach up. I hear a lot of y'all chit chattering up in here. We gonna talk about what needs to be talked about. Cause everybody a la la land over here. To make a statement like that, David, that's disrespectful. Ain't none of them ever been lynched. Ain't none of them ever been chased out no city because of the color of their skin or because of what they doing. They got power. You can't even say nothing to have for them. They got a whole, what am I looking for? A whole support system behind them. We have no support system. Same thing I was talking to the brother. He brought up the brother in Ohio. They got shot 60 times. I never heard about one of them getting shot 60 times. They go in safely. Matter of fact, get a meal. So if one of them that's in the same sex lifestyle or following, if you say something to them at your job, you'll lose your job. We don't have that. They recently wrote bills for Asians, for Ashkenazi Jewish, and for what? People that are in the same sex life, uh, lifestyle. We have not had a bill and we've been here over 400 years. They can run us over, they can shoot us, they can do all these things. But we don't have no bill. Ain't no hate crime if one of them do something to you. You get slapped right now. I know you probably won't be having that, I can tell. But I'm using that as an example. I'm with you, bro. I'm using that as an example. If you got hit upside the head right now, everybody are going on about their day. But if it was one of them that represent that flag, all hell will break loose. They'll come through here marching and all that. Where's that power for us? Where's that support for us? to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.